Okay, here we go. Time for some more Jurassic World Evolution 2. Now, this is just picking up from where I left off with the previous video. So, remember to subscribe, hit that like button, enable notifications, and leave me a comment. As you see, I completely revamped the park, redid the park, the paths, and the stores, and I actually got a some del Dilophosaurus. So this is just right where we're going to move to the second island. As you see, I've got one thing over there to increase. Then I'm going to quickly do that. Uh, they take pretty quickly to get the first few objectives and from there on I'm probably gonna just show you as soon as I get the objective and the speech of the actors since it doesn't look like you're too much into me playing so let's get into it Hope you all are doing well. You can see some people walking. They were at 11. I've just gotten word there's a new location we can access. We're checking out if you ask me. Off the beaten path, but not entirely secret. This whole thing, you know, paleo curation, has been shrouded in secrecy from the get-go. It's all need to know. Well, what I do know is, it's full of surprises. Uh, that's what scares me. Well, th that and the raptors, and the T-Rex, and the Carnotaurus. <laughs> Basically, anything with teeth and claws and leathery skin. Okay, so then with the PlayStation controller, you just press square, and then with R1, just move to the side and then you can pick your island this location is perfect don't you think and what's more, it looks pretty secure. These Mediterranean islands have natural barriers, so we can keep the dinosaurs in and the things we don't want out. <laughs> now, I know it's difficult when it comes to containing water reptiles, but you don't have to worry here. Because you see that body of water over there? That's for us to use. <laughs> well, for the reptiles, I mean. <laughs> well, I'll leave you to it. I think Dr. Du is already in waiting. We're going to continue to need animals. And acquiring them through the exchange remains our best choice at the moment. Okay, so these ones are small, but they're highly they're very demanding uh, i would suggest first thing is go to the environment and to the remove make it as big as you want and just remove some of the you know as you see there's stegosauruses or nasoteropia oh my word i'm not going to try and say that Anyways, they look kind of like a type of Stegosaurus. Um, okay, so they're here as well. They're missing ground leaf. So, you can just go here and ground leaf. Get some ground leaf there. Uh, these small ones, they need a feeder, not the goat one. And uh, also 
The small ones need sand as well. There's two sands, so I don't know which one is the better one, but yeah. This is a sand that actually looks like this area. Okay, and so that's enough sand for them. And then remember a ranger station. And Ranger Team 1, Medical Team 1. Okay. And then just a scientist, because you need to buy a new scientist. There is a genetics one that's pretty good. Uh, welfare. Oh, genetics are all the good ones, but I need logistics. Okay, so the next ones will be in 18 minutes. Okay, so then you just go to the exchange. And as you see, they'll highlight the, where they want you to go and the dinosaurs also that they want you to buy. Our new animals. Lock them up and stock them up. Hold on. You're not serious. I think what Cabot means is that we want them in suitable enclosures and environments. See? <laughs> the doc got it. Uh, Mr. Lambert, are you able to lend a hand? I'm here as needed. Just point me in the right direction. Asset has been delivered. As they look at how small they are, and they want open space and sand. I mean, look at them compared to the feeder. While we are looking after the dinosaurs, we also want to give others a chance to see them too. A tour is the answer. You understand tourism and travel, right, Kayla? <laughs> Listen, I just transport them. The tourism of it all, that's all you. It's a balance. We find ourselves exploiting the animals, of course. But doing so provides funds for research, which in turn, well, benefits the animals. Sure. That's one way of looking at it. And the more the general public sees the dinosaurs, the better it is for them. So let's try increasing our dinosaur visibility, and we can take it from there. Hmm, well, 18 minutes is on fire already.
Let's see if these two give me enough to... Research that. Yeah, we've got enough. Okay, so while we're waiting for that, I'm quickly going to build the power station. I just hope it's not in the way over there. Let's see, this power station can be built before this thing runs out of fuel. Oh, well, the research is continuing. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, let's see here. Tractions and the truck tour. Okay, so the truck tour over here. Oh yeah, it's connected. And we just need a path.
Check out these trucks in this truck tour. Ladies and gentlemen, make the right choice today and board a safari tour. I do not feel safe in that truck. <laughs> So you can, if you click on it, um, and you zoom out, you can see the coverage of it, like that blue circle thing. But now it does count where the truck is riding, where it's seeing the dinosaurs. Uh, fuel... Four out of five. All life began in the water, so I can think of nothing more appropriate than adding some marine reptiles. The exchange should have what we need. Yeah, they have them. They've also got some pretty huge tanks down there. Sure seems like they have everything. Good. Let's get it done. Okay, and exchange. Once again, they've got it highlighted and highlighted. And luckily you can just... With these ones, you can just drop them all in. Assets in the air. We've uh, really jumped into the deep end with these water dinosaurs, haven't we? Technically, they're reptiles. Uh, I still wouldn't want to swim with them. <laughs> Point taken. Our objective is to get them comfortable and to keep them contained. At least these animals are restricted to the water, aren't they? Just stay on land and you'll be fine. <laughs> That's a lie I've heard before. Okay, now warning, these ones do need a lot of other dinosaurs like of their species to not feel lonely and then okay, let's see research it's actually marked yeah, I can research that one I can't research that one. But yeah, that's the one for the dinosaurs, I think, anyways. So I think let's finish this research, Asset put the feeder down, and then it's probably going to be the end of the video, and then once again, once I have Almost all these ones complete, I'll show you in another video. And from there on, I'll probably, like I say, show you only the movie things. These ones, like I said, they don't take very long and minimal work, so I felt I'd just do that and show you. Commencing asset transit. Asset transportation complete. Okay, so these are the viewing stations. I've got something for you to do. Give it a once over. Oh, let's raise the peel of the park. <laughs> Yeah. 
Uh, that's your ranger team actually using a, a drone. Okay, so closure feeding, and they. This one is for the Mosasaurus only. I think I don't. I haven't seen any other dinosaur that eat the sharks, and this is the normal fishing feeder. Uh, let's put it over there. You see. Transportation complete. Okay, let's. If you. Okay, come on. Well, that's the fish that's supposed to come out of it. Is this controller on the water is. Driving me nuts. Confirming asset delivery. Oh, that's really annoying. Oh well, they have boosted the park appeal. And like you see, they're content. Delivery has been completed. Okay, so hope you enjoy, and see you in the next video.